Hi, Ashley here with hearthookhome.com and today we are going to learn how to add a zipper and a lining to a bag. Specifically, this crocheted bag that is available on hearthookhome.com. First, we're going to lay out our fabric that we're going to use. For this bag, uh, this is the large bag that's in the pattern because there are three patterns available in one. So it's got three for one, awesome. Um, for this bag, we are going to use this lining. And it's actually, don't be intimidated by lining bags because this is actually a lot easier than it looks. And this pattern is actually a lot easier than it looks as well. I have not added the strap yet, so I'll add the strap after I add the zipper to the bag. What I like to do uh, when lining is to have the fold of the fabric at the bottom so that it will automatically go on the bottom of the bag. Thus, I don't have to sew the bottom. I don't have to worry about, um, sometimes if there's a seam down there, you can get all kinds of crusties down in the seam. You know, if you, you know your purse is disgusting, so, <laughs> or it can be anyway. Um, next, we're going to figure out how large we need the lining to be. So I'm going to line this, my bottom edge of the purse on the bottom edge of this fold, and my seam allowance is going to be about a half an inch. So we are going to have to sew up each side of the lining so that, you know, it's a seam together. So first, I'm going to figure out how large I need that to be. So here, I'm going to lay it right on the edge. So I've got a little bit, and then you've also got to account for the bulk of the bag itself. So I'm going to leave it about right there. I'm going to come on the other side, and I'm just going to cut straight up the side. And we should only need about half of the height. About up to here, probably. Move this over. Okay, so this is about ready to go. Before you start sewing, and you could do this uh, with a sewing machine or with needle and thread, it's the same process for both. Just depends on what you have at your disposal. So here I've got my zipper that matches. I'm going to open this up. You always want to get a zipper that's about or at least two inches longer than the product or the bag that you'll be lining and adding the zipper to. So take out this little staple. So my zipper is plenty long. So I'm going to lay my zipper out al along the top of the bag. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually sew this fabric to the zipper, okay? So before you start sewing, you're gonna to want to make sure that your fabric is the right height, and we can change this as we go along. So I'm gonna cut it a little bit taller than I need it to be, so I'm gonna go about here. And remember, I kept the bottom of the bag on the fold. If you don't have enough fabric, Let's just say that I only had two of these pieces. I could still use these and sew it along the bottom. It would still work. I'm just going for ease and speed. So the very first thing we'll do is we'll take our zipper and we're going to lay it down face down. Okay? Face down. We're going to take our fabric right side down and lay it on top of the zipper. And I might actually iron this real quick just so that it's a nice clean. Okay, this is better. So I've got it ironed a little bit flatter. Now I'm going to take my zipper and put it face down. I'm going to take my fabric, I'm gonna open it about halfway or all the way, it doesn't really matter. And we're going to take our fabric face down and lay it on top of the top part of the zipper, okay? I'm gonna put it uh, right in the middle. You're thinking, well, it's not at the end. Well, that's okay, because we can sew over that here in a bit and it'll make a new end when, wherever we want it to be. So now I've got my pins and I'm going to pin across the top so that I can then sew. ready to go. Now I'm going to go sew straight down this line 
so that my zipper is literally sewn onto the fabric. When you're sewing um, a zipper, there is a line on the zipper where the weave goes the opposite direction. Can you see that right in the middle? So this one goes this way and this one goes this way. You're wanting to sew right along that middle line and it just helps to keep things cleaner. Also, I have this open right now. When I get done, I'll take the pins out as I go and I'll be able to close it back up. I've got a nice clean edge here to work with and I actually went, went back and ironed it down flat. So here's the back where I sewed it. I did it twice because it kind of got snagged on the pins a little bit. I'm gonna go back and iron it flat so that you've got a nice clean edge to work with. Now we're going to sew the other side. And like I said, it doesn't matter if you hand sew this or you mach machine sew it. It really doesn't matter. It's just the same process. Um, so, now that we've got the first side done, we wanna make sure that we're doing it to the correct depth. So we have the other half of our zipper. I'm gonna go ahead and close this, okay? And remember I said it's okay if it goes over a little bit because we can always um, sew up the end. Now when we do sew up the end, we wanna make sure that the pole is in the middle so that we don't sew it up to where you can't even get it over. So we will lay our bag up next to it. So we're trying to figure out exactly how high we need this to be. Move a little bit. Okay, so here is our top of the bag and the zipper is going to go right along this top edge. So we'll match that up. And now we're going to pull, since I want this to be one continuous piece without a seam on the bottom, I'm gonna pull this up to where it matches up right at the bottom here. And I don't want it to be too big, but I don't want it to be too short either. So we're gonna line it up nice and pretty like, okay, that looks pretty good, I think, right along the edge. And we are going to pin the top of this fabric where it will be to the top of the zipper where we're about to sew. So I'll go ahead and uh, pin that on as well. So now I'll take this over to the sewing machine and I'm gonna sew along that edge. So I went ahead and sewed up the top of the zipper here to where when we open it, we will be looking at the inside of the bag. And now I went ahead and, while I was at the sewing machine, lined up my bag to where the sides would line up with the sides of the lining. And I sewed down each side and while I was at it, I put the pole in the middle of the zipper and then I sewed across the zipper so that it wouldn't go past this point and I sewed across this end of the zipper so that it wouldn't go past this point. And now I will clip my zipper since it's got a new stop and I'll open my bag, my lining and insert it into my bag. Tuck it in there nice. I'm going to line up my edges with the corners of the bag and I'm going to pin all the way across making sure that it doesn't pucker or get funky and then I'm going to take my needle and thread and sew between the zipper and the fabric and the zipper and the fabric and the zipper and the fabric all the way around.